I'm a good fighter. Also, I'm smart. I keep learning and better and better. Yeah, fuck yeah. Download the All Star app. Make your picks for UFC fights. Challenge your friends. Level up and win prizes. Link in description. Get it now. All right, so Lee Kai win, Eric, aka Kai. Yep. <laughs> What's good, man? How are you feeling? I feel so good. Yeah. Hey, every day is better than every day. Yeah. For sure, for sure. And uh, you got a big fight coming up in mm -hmm. Shanghai, December, the featherweight finals, road to UFC. How do you feel about the the opportunity? Oh yeah, I'm so exciting, and uh, yeah, I think I will catch that opportunity for sure. Yeah. What do you think about the matchup facing off uh, against another Chinese prospect? I think my opponent, Ija, yeah, he's good at grappling, also good at rise as, and good at striking. Yeah, he's a good fighter because we know each other. Yeah, because we, we training, we, we, we were training together a long time. So, yeah, I can't, I, I can't wait. Yeah, for real. How does it feel to be fighting somebody you know so well, you've been training with them for a long time? Oh, bro, that is so fucking weird, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, shit, I was talking to my friend, I said, bro, what's that job? Mm. Yesterday we're drinking together, right? And then tomorrow we're going to fight each other. What the fuck? <laughs> but it is what it is. That's, that's the job. Mm -hmm. You so, guys have the same goals, right? Yeah, 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 for sure. And, and your goal is to get signed by the UFC. Beyond mm -hmm. that, what, is, what are your goals? You know, after getting signed, what do you want to do in the UFC? Uh... But not going to the UFC, yeah, that's my goal. Even my dream is kind of like, I want to be a big name. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the Conor McGregor, you know what I mean? Yeah. I want to make more money and then, yeah, make more people know who is fucking the Lee Kaiwen, the underdog. Yeah. Is, is money the number one reason for you to fight or is there other reasons? No. The first reason is fucking it's my goal. I want to be there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter money or no money. That's it. Because even people got the money, okay, you can do whatever you want to do. You, you, you can help people, right? That's it. You, yeah, that's my goal. For sure. And right now you're here in, in Thailand training. Is that why you're here in Thailand training? Because the guy you're fighting is from the same team? <laughs> yeah, because before we was training together and then this is final fight, right? Same thing, so we're training the PI, that's hard. So that's why PI just let me come to the Puke, the Banta MMA, yeah. How, how was it training at the PI? You were there for a long time, you know? It's, I heard so many good things about it. What was your experience like? Actually, I really like training the PI because they had a good recover, it's good food, good trainer, yeah, also good team mail. So yeah, I like that. Also, um, also Banta is not bad. Oh well, yeah, it's not yeah, bad here, right? Cause, yeah, because <laughs> even, it doesn't matter where you're training at, yeah, just training harder and then fight easy, that's it. Definitely, definitely. And I saw a, a clip of you on the beach, training on the beach. Yeah, it yeah, must yeah. be nice to be Training on the beach though, right? Bro, that's a hell of a <laughs> chill, right? I love it. That's, when I train in the beach, I feel, damn, that's not, that's like training. It's yeah. more like enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the, you know, the beach, whatever. I love, I love it. And, you know, you're, you're working here, you're, you're preparing for your fight. Who have you been working with here to, you know, to level up and, and get prepared and be ready to fight for the tournament? This time I'll take my boy. Xie Bing, he was also fighting the Daniel Contender Series yeah. and RTU. So I, we know each other is more 10 years more. So wow. I think he will help me a lot. Mm -hmm. Also, in the Bantam MMA, they got a lot of Russian fighters. You know, it's a good grappler, yeah. something. Yeah. So this fight, December 9th, um, yeah, I very believe in myself. Yeah, that's 100%. It's a take it. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's been a long road for you, right? Mm -hmm. You know, this year you had two fights for Road to UFC and, and, and performed really well. But before that, you were out for, I think, about almost a year and a half. Yeah. No fight. How was life during that time for you? 
Oh, shit. That was a hard time, for real. Because one year's half, I didn't get the fight because I got, I was got an injury. So, also I lost the fight. You know, my my moves, it's, it's not that good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes take, take the time is not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, the goals are more clear. Did you spend the, the time in, in China or were you in the States? I, I, I think I've seen you in different places, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was been in a lot of different places. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even Thailand, stay and uh, China. Yeah. And just training and, and staying ready, basically, for the whole year? Yeah, I was just training. Mm -hmm. Also training the mental. Oh, okay. Yeah, everything, yeah. Even, even I'm just take break, but I'm, I never stop. Mm -hmm. You've been fighting for a long time and you're still only 28 years old. You're very young, right? But, you know, you have a lot of experience, a lot of fight time, but you talk about the mental, right? Is yeah, that something mental. that is more important now for you than, mm -hmm. than the physical training? Yeah, for sure. Because I think the technique is the second. The first thing is the mentally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You should be strong, be smart, you know, yeah, everything. Yeah. How has that changed your training, you know? like? you know, having a different mindset now. <clears throat> For example, if you're training some technique, your, your mind, it, they don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. How to learn it, it's hard, right? So I, I think the first thing, first thing is the training the mental. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And the brain. Yeah, and you came back and the first fight was against yeah, yeah. Lukai, which yeah. was like a very uh, heated, Matchup mm -hmm. and you yeah. went in there and you knocked him out in the first round. It was very violent. How did yeah. you feel about that fight? Cause, <clears throat> cause I was. Do you know the Laura, that the UFC, something like social media something. Yeah. And then I say I would tell her I say this fight gonna be violent, gonna be crazy. Okay, they don't know. I say if you don't know now you know. <laughs> yeah. When I in the fight in the cage, I'll be changed. I'll be the fucking monster. Be fucking the animal, you know yeah. what I mean? It's not like the, the just like the life, the Lee Kai Wen, the, the humble, you know, be nice, be kind. Mm -mm, it's not. When I go into the cage, the octagon, sorry about that, I'm gonna beat you up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's my goal, that's yeah. my plan. And you did it in the first fight. The second fight was a little bit more difficult, right? How did you feel about that performance? <clears throat> you know, I was rest one year's half, you know, that one year's half, I didn't rest, because I need a, be ready, mm -hmm. you know. So I need to do a lot of job, a lot of work. So that's why, even the second fight, the Kanyo, I forgot the name. Yeah. Something the Japanese fighter. He's a good fighter, but uh, ah yeah, for sure I'm better than him, Allah, because he is very smart. Even in usually in the fight, because he knows my last fight is lost by knee, mm -hmm. something, some, something, right? And then yeah, also he is the good. He got a good technique for the Japanese kickboxing, mm -hmm. you know, so I know he will do that. So I need to be careful. I don't want to just like first fight with the Liu Kai, to just yeah. push harder. That's, that's not, that's not good, uh, you know, so. Because I know the, the quarter, the second, the, the final fight is more important for the final fight, I think. Yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure, for sure. And uh, yeah, you're in the final fight and uh, you're going to be able to compete in front of a crowd again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to be important for you, right? Yeah, that's true. How, how exciting is that for you to be in China, though, in China, mm -hmm. in front of the crowd again, at, you know, since everything got shut down, right? It's, yeah. it's the first time. <clears throat> be honest, I'm not that exciting, for real. Because mm -hmm. I know I should be. I should get it, that win. I should get that fight. So I'll never be exciting, just be, just be my normal job, mm -hmm. you know. I don't have the nervous, no exciting or something. Nope. Just be calm. Yeah, be, just be chill. Just enjoy everything. Yeah. Because I know, I believe in myself. This fight, the title, that for sure is me, the underdog. Yeah, you, you're different from every other Chinese fighter that yeah. I've met, that I've seen train. You, your style is fan friendly. Do you feel like your style is fan friendly? Like if you go to the UFC, mm -hmm. the fans are going to love the style that you have. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, that's a good question. You know, there's mm -hmm. a lot of people asking me, oh shit, Kai, you, did you think in your style, your, your looking, your tattoo, going to make it more people like it or hey, I say, I don't give a shit. I just be myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, do whatever I want. I, I, I like to do. That's it. You know, yeah, I think, yeah, the UFC, they're going to 
like me, mm -hmm. that's fucking stale. It's <laughs> no one Chinese fighter is a whole body tattoo and then taught to share love. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Also, I can speak a, a lot of different language. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I yeah. think they, they need me. Also, yeah, I'm a good fighter. Also, I'm smart. And keep you learning and the better and the better. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited, you know, me as an Asian person to yeah. see someone like you come out and, and with the style that you have and, and the look and everything because everybody thinks that Asians look a certain way, mm -hmm. but it's not true. You know what yeah. I mean? There's all different types of Asians in Asia. So it's, it's going to be fun to see how people react to you yeah. when you actually get into mm -hmm. the octagon and, and perform. Um, it, like you said, you know, you're, you're not nervous. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you belong here. This is where you're supposed to be. You know, um, yeah, I think so. I agree with you, man. I think this is a huge opportunity for you to, to make a very big highlight and, and get a UFC contract, man. Um, yeah. You're right there at the edge. Um, man, it's going to be crazy, right? Yeah. It's going to be crazy. You're you going to have, like, your family and friends and everybody there yeah, watching? Yeah, for sure. If I train, if I fight in the Shanghai, China, Shanghai, yeah, that's absolutely so many people. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter fucking fans and the haters, they're gonna, yeah, yeah. they're gonna come in to watching, oh, the Lee Kai Wen, the fight, yeah. they're gonna check it out, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. How, how do they react to you in China? Because I heard that, like, Zhang Wei Li, she's mm -hmm. really popular, yeah. but, like, um, Yan Zhao Nan, mm -hmm. like, there's also a little Song bit of Yang hate, Gong. a little bit yeah, of hate yeah, for yeah. her, right? Mm -hmm. What about you? How do they react to Fuck you? Fuck it, I got love. I got hella, <laughs> I got hella fucking hater. <laughs> for real. No cap. <laughs> Fuck but you need haters though to be famous, yeah, to be popular. Yeah, right? you, you, you got to work. Cause even the hate, hater, right? They still fucking your fans. Yeah, yeah. Cause they always focus on you. They check your Instagram. They check your fucking Facebook or something. <laughs> oh shit! You know, <laughs> I know everything. So, <laughs> um, do you still plan on going back to to Alpha Male, uh, to California to train? Maybe uh, if you have a fight in the states or something. Yeah, I think so. But uh, when I finish. My next fight, I trying to take a break because oh, okay. you know one year, three fight, yeah, it's kind of tired. Yeah. You know, I need to enjoy the, yeah, a little bit, yeah. and then going to the, yeah, for the next fight. I see. Twenty twenty four, right? Yeah, twenty twenty four. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting, man. It's interesting to see you because you know I watched you since the early days, mm -hmm. right? And you were just like a berserker. Yeah. You just come in and berserk, and then everybody was like, yeah, when. When Kai fights, mm. you're gonna see a berserker. But I feel like you're a little bit more mature now. You yeah. know, these two fights changed you a little bit. The first one, you know, mm. you you got the knockout. The second one, yeah. you won all three rounds. This third one, what what can the the fans expect? Just, just like Bruce Lee said, just be water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What kind of situation? Just be water. That'd be okay. For sure. Easy. Yeah. Um, Appreciate you, Kai. Thank you. Man.